gentlemen, welcome to China Rising. I decided to do kind of a Frankie on PC type of intro, because it looks really cool when he does it, and it looks like a lot of fun to make, and you know what? It, it was. It was a lot, a lot of fun to do, so I quite enjoyed that, but this is China Rising. This is going to be my first impressions of these new maps, this new DLC type content. I'm playing Obliteration on Dragon Pass. I quite enjoy this map. And there is a reason I'm playing Obliteration and getting shot in the face. And I'll get to that in a second. So, I'm going to start with the maps. I'm quite liking them a lot. They make me very, very happy. I like the two jungle maps we get because they remind me of Bad Company 2. And I love me some Bad Company 2. That is easily my favorite game in the Battlefield franchise. Some people are going to disagree with me wholeheartedly. But I don't care what you think. I enjoyed the game a lot. And I think the reason I enjoyed it was because it felt very organic in the way the maps were laid out. It didn't feel like you were in a bunch of tight corridors or you were forced down certain areas. It felt like you were really onslaughting in... Uh, like throughout a map when you're playing Rush or even Conquest, you're kind of just in this open playground area and you just have fun with it. And that's what I that's what I quite enjoy about Battlefield, you know? That's why I play it. That's not why I play... That's why I don't play like Call of Duty and things like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I just don't really enjoy it because I prefer having that open environment. And I feel that the maps in this DLC, particularly the two jungle maps, do a very good job of that. Oh, wow. Hi there! Misplaced rock. How are you doing? <laughs> that's interesting. Oh, you're not on my team. Hi, buddy. Oh, God, that's a tank. That is a tank. All right. So, I do enjoy the two jungle maps. They feel like Bad Company 2, and that is the greatest thing ever, in my opinion. And I, I like the other maps, too. I like the deserty map. It's quite nice. It reminds me of Bandar Desert in Battlefield 3, and I did like that map. I did have some fun times on there. And I like the way the map looks, mostly. And we still kill each other. There was a patch update, too, and they didn't fix it. But whatever. It's not like we play for KD around here. I like the desert one, but I'm not a huge fan of the other one. I don't know, it just seems a little bit... A little generic. I don't know. So. Why am I playing Obliteration? Well... There's a, there's a simple reason for that right now. They haven't fixed the, uh, you know, you know, the lag. Yeah, that, 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 that lag. You know, like I was lagging right there when I was trying to talk. So, they've still got these really bad lag issues on the maps in Conquest mode. I've only noticed it on Conquest, in Conquest Large, so far. So, basically, if you don't know what that is, or if you were just lucky enough to never experience it. When, when Battlefield 4 was first released, they had a bunch of rubber banding issues on certain maps. And, you know, I would expect after a few months of the game being out, them to have fixed that. Unfortunately, they really haven't. I really should have killed that guy first, but I'm just going to blame... I'm going to blame the servers and the hitboxes on that one. Just if I may for a second. If I, if I may indulge you. So basically what that means is most of the maps have a rubber banding issue. So you walk three or four sets forward and then you're, the server just shoots you backwards because it needs to catch up. And whether that's just bad uh, map rendering or just the game not being optimized, I don't know. But it does happen on these maps and I'm, I'm quite angry about that. I think that after months of this game being out and then being able to work on even more maps and optimize it even more... They should have been able to, like, you know, make their game run smoothly. I mean, don't get me wrong. The game runs quite smoothly, especially these new maps. I'm getting over 100 frames, and I'm running a GTX 670. And I'm on, like, high settings, because, I don't know. Ultra, it makes it too hard to see enemies, I find. And also, you know, there's that, there's that little bit of aiming lag you get. Oh, sorry, buddy. You don't get those kills. You don't, you don't hurt my friend. Oh, my friend on the stationary AT died anyways. <laughs> I didn't get that guy. <sighs> and we've got hackers in the chat, or people accusing of other people of being hackers, because, you know, when you get killed, 
It's always a hacker. Them dang dirty hackers, man. Alright, can we blow up the tank? Nope, but it can blow me up quite instantly. I got did I get a hundred points for a spot bonus? I didn't know you could do that. That's a little crazy. Alright, so I'm playing obliteration because uh, it doesn't have that server lag issue that I've noticed so far that the conquest maps do. It only seems to be on conquest, so rush and obliteration and so forth and domination, they seem to be fine. Seems to be a problem that's only on the conquest maps. Which is kind of disappointing because I like playing those maps. I still don't really like the Rush versions of these maps. Uh, it just feels very... Rush in Battlefield 4 feels a little out of place in how the game plays. What I mean by that is it's a bit of a faster paced game. Therefore, your enemies get to you and your spawn way more quickly. And it kind of just becomes a giant cluster of people shooting each other in the head and it's... Honestly, I haven't really had that many fun rush games in this game so far. So, you know, that. Alright, hello helicopter. I wonder if I can hit it. Can I? Yeah. That was a horrible shot. I'm so sorry you had to see that. Normally, I'm very good with those. Oh, hi. There's a guy over here. Oh, he's parachuting. I want to get on top of that. I've been up there once or twice. It's kind of neat. So, what about the weapons? I haven't really unlocked that many of them yet, but the ones I have unlocked, they're quite sexy. I like the gall. I like the sniper rifle. And again, that goes to, back to me being a bad company two nuts. I loved using it in that game, and in this game, this is kind of like a big nostalgic feeling where I feel like I'm doing instantly better. Because I've it's it's like I found... I, or I met up with an old high school friend that I that I really liked, and we were like, "Yo, bro, what's up?" And then we went out and got you know lunch, and then caught up, and then we found out that he was going to school and he's almost graduated. And I was like, "Dude, that's awesome!" And then we like re-added each other on Facebook and Skype, and then we game together all the time. That's what the, that's like what have what having the golf sniper rifle is like. It really is. Where's this other guy? I'm getting shot. Nope. Bad. Just gonna keep... Nope. Okay. Woo! I got snipers on me. I got them snipers. Let's drop a health kit for a sec. Let's gonna throw a grenade there. Hopefully that'll distract him long enough. There is someone over here. Let's go say hi. Oh, there's a big cluster of people. Guys, I think we found a squad. Look, guys, we found a squad. Should use my grenade launcher for that. Oh, God. Nope. Bad. Ah, oh, he's still watching me. Oh, buddy. I think those guys are going to be very angry at me. For the time being. Oh, I got him. That's a good thing. Okay, I'm just gonna keep. Oh, never mind. We got shot by a tank, of course. These maps feel very vehicle intensive. Uh, that's not a bad thing, but I don't know. In this game, I haven't really played the engineer class a whole lot. I just spawned into that guy's ass. <laughs> One wonderful game. That was the first thing I want to see when I pop back into life. It's just this greasy, sweaty soldier. Ass. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Alright, there's a helicopter down there that's about to take off. I wonder if we can grab him. He's a little bit far away, and there was a tank right there that snuck up on me. Man, those tanks can be very sneaky. You gotta watch out for that sometimes. With his hexagonal camo. I don't know how I missed that, I really don't. Right, oh. What is, what's going on over here, guys? Are we, are we just chilling? There's a tank up there. Can we go say hi to the tank? Okay, you're down. I want to stay by these buildings. I don't really have much luck over here, but 
I don't think I want to annoy the tank right now. Doesn't seem like... Maybe I can take out that guy? At least scare him a little? Oh, I got him! Oh, yeah! Guys, I am the aiming king. Yeah, man, these maps are so pretty. I really enjoy them all. I love... I'm a sucker for jungles. I really am. They just look so pretty and nice, and I feel awesome running through them like Predator or Arnold Schwarzenegger. It got him, too. Oh, please don't shoot me, tank. It's almost dead. There we go, it's dead. If that heli comes back around, I might be able to get it, too. Oh, crap. <laughs> that was a bad idea. That was not the smartest engagement I've ever had, I must say. I will say there seems to be a lack of servers for this, actually. I don't know. I tried air superiority as well. Don't play it with 64 players. It's kind of bugged out and really bad. Really, really awful. Although, I am a better jet pilot than I was in the last game. I don't know if it just seems easier or what, but it just clicked with me a bit more. Okay, come on, helicopter. Don't go over to our base. Come back here so I can shoot you. That would be appreciated. Yo! Let's get that guy out of the way. <laughs> he tried to run me over. I know what he was thinking. But he wasn't counting on my hardcore parkour skills saving the day. I know there was a guy over here. There was an enemy. Oh! Found the enemy. <laughs> oh, or they found me. Man, that guy's killed me twice now. I think he is Predator. Probably. Does Predator ride dirt bikes? Well, I'm going to say yes. That'd be pretty awesome. Ah, oh, why did I spawn in this? This is a horrible thing to do. Oh, good golly gravy. Oh, that's a tree. Dude, that's a tree. You know, when you're flying, you got to look out for trees. Although, technically, you should be high enough that you don't have to, but whatever. Is that guy floating? That guy way up there, he, he actually looks like he's floating. I don't know if there's just something not popping in or what. But, it's a little odd. <laughs> he, he is kind of a big target, though. Oh, I can hit him. Yeah, I don't know. I'm assuming that the cliff he's standing on, yeah, just didn't pop in, so he's floating. That was quite comical. Ah, nope. Stop shooting at me, please. If I ask nice enough, maybe they'll listen to me. Except I have VoIP turned off, so that might not help. Might not be as of much use as I thought it would be. That was a horrible shot as well. I'm just not feeling the grenade launcher today. Normally I can peg a freaking helicopter cross map, no problem. But it is uh, giving me some problems today. Okay. Teams seem to be fairly even. Yeah, they look pretty pretty even to make a nice competitive matchup for once. God, that it. The fire is just so pretty. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just really, really pretty. And I like it. I'm quite interested to see the Levolution on the second Assault maps as well. There doesn't seem to be a lot of it on the China Rising one, which is which is actually kind of weird. I mean, I would have thought they'd still be going with the whole Levolution concept, like through at least the first DLC, but there doesn't really seem to be a lot of it. I don't know, I wouldn't say I miss it, but it, it is kind of... It feels a little weird just to not have any big map-changing event, although in its defense, these maps are pretty big, so I'd, it would be pretty hard to make a huge map-changing one without doing another one of those like weather effects, and I think that having one of those in the vanilla game and the sandstorm coming in Gulf of Oman is going to be way, way more than enough, so can't say I'm very angry about that, but they do still have the things like... um. Like, bringing up the, the, uh, what do you call them? I, I can't believe I'm forgetting what these are called. The little fence blockers that 
like stop tanks and stuff. They still have those around. And I think you still shoot out lights and stuff. But it's more of the small scale stuff, which is and that's it's kind of better when you think about it because they don't have people like trying to ruin the map like they do on Shanghai when they bring the tower down, like deliberately so it crashes everyone. That's just kind of extremely irritating. So I'm quite happy they didn't do that. Oh God, turned around. Sorry guys, I don't have my license in driving water vehicles. I don't even know where to go for one of those. Oh no! V water! That is not water! <laughs> oh, that's bad. Anyways, I'm rambling on here, so what... What I'm gonna say about the China Rising maps... They're nice! They feel like Bad Company 2 maps. They're a nice break from a lot of the urban environments from the vanilla game and it's kind of nice to not have that big focus on like naval combat because honestly I couldn't really get into it so I think that if you're more of a fan of the Bad Company 2 style of gameplay then you will enjoy the China Rising maps a lot more than you might have enjoyed the vanilla maps for Battlefield 4 so that's my two cents I am Patty Jack see you guys next time Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. I would be super appreciative. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because then you can see all the other awesome content I make. Like, maybe you're interested in some Skyzy, maybe some Battlefield 4 content, maybe you want to see this angry rant, or my first impression reviews. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and stay socially awkward. Peace out.